Hey, uh, YouTubers, Tasman here, bringing you a new, possible new, a long series, I don't know, however long it goes, um, or maybe it will totally bomb and it won't go very far at all, but Diablo uh, released uh, an update where you can now have the Necromancer, so I thought, I've had Diablo 3 for a very long time, and I never actually thought when something new came out to go ahead and do a video of it. So I decided with this, because Diablo 3 is an awesome game, really fun, um, and I, I played it off and on for quite a while now, um, but I really haven't gotten that far, I don't think, uh, because other games keep tying up all my time. But anyway, I'm rambling on, and I don't want to do that, so let me grab a drink real quick. Icy cold water. Love it. Um, so we're going to jump in with the brand new Necromancer. And uh, I are, there's no options. It's either male or female. And so let's go ahead and start. It does say normal. Uh, the only place I know where you can change that is once you're in the game. So we'll do that. We're going to do it on hard. Not hardcore because I don't want to... I kind of find it pointless to play a game or, you know, like Minecraft and stuff like that where if you die, it's just over. I'm not that hardcore. I'm not that good. <laughs> so, Act 1. All that grows must also wither and die. What dies and rots will then nourish the living. This is the great cycle of being, and we, the priests of Rathma, use our dark art to protect it. Though most do not understand us, we go where we are needed. My master has learned that a star fell in the West drawing the dead from their graves. He commands me to journey to Tristram and return them to their rest. For if the cycle is not upheld, it would mean the end of all things. Wow. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is go in and change the game level. Now once you do this, you can't you can't change it back. But this will make it so it raises the difficulty um, too hard. Uh, so 75% extra gold. So I think right now you get 100% or whatever. Uh, it's going to change it. Now I don't know. Yes. So now we're hard. But now as you can see, you can't unchange it. So... I don't know if there's anywhere you can change that or where you could set that before we got in game, but there you go. So let's go ahead and jump in. For those of you that are new to Diablo uh, and Diablo, near the fallen star. Diablo and 3 the in particular, um, you basically have your character. This over here is your health. This is usually your special ability. In this case, it's Essence. Uh, 200 of 200 usually your secondary attack primary attack now if you hold shift you can do your primary attack uh, Usually that generates or this will self generate and then your left click Which in this case is just a swing in your little side thing uh, And it's probably because it's just basic but once I get another one It'll probably do more and my guess is this will generate Summon bone spikes from the ground, damage enemies. Yeah, generate 24 essence. This will generally take it. Uh, now, it seems like you can actually... Um, I never use this, <laughs> but it looks like it's just always there. So, you get potions and stuff, and I was playing a while ago, and I was like, Dude, I'm getting so many potions. Where are they going? But apparently, you don't actually get the potions you just get this that has a cooldown. So if I use it, which I can't right now by hitting Q, it would heal me uh, 60%. And then I have to wait 30, is it 30 seconds? Yeah, 30 seconds for it to cool down. So here we go, there's a dude down here. Let's go ahead and spike him a couple times. Oh yeah, he's toast. And he didn't drop anything. Got a bunch of guys down here, uh-huh. 
Uh huh. There we go. Very quick. So yeah, she has a good range. Of course, it won't always be really good because mobs do tend to get in close. And if I don't hold shift, then I walk right up to them and get right in their face. Now down here we have our experience bar. Um, so once it hits there, we hit level 2. These are locked. These are our alternate abilities. If we want to check our abilities, they're going to be the primary is the bone spikes, then we get the groom scythe, then we get the siphon blood. Uh, we don't have our secondary yet, so right now it's just the melee attack. Uh, then down here we get all these other cool passive things and such. Our character, uh, this is kind of like World of Warcraft in this sense, or other games where you can actually put items on you. This is just a regular scythe. If it's uh, blue, usually it's a, a magical or if it's a yellow I think it's legendary and orange is rare we'll, we'll see all that as we go uh, we have our details on our character how much damage they do all that stuff for those of you that love that uh, down here we can see our crafting materials right now we have just a couple this is from all your characters are combined basically so anything they have is combined with each other uh, we have our quests we don't have any right now and our journal we have our achievements and then we have computer settings and such this is our collection stuff so because I have I think this one does it tell you what it is uh, you're prepared I think this is because of I own World of Warcraft this I think might be because of uh, oh, what's it called um, no yeah, that's probably the Demon Hunter. This one right here is probably from StarCraft. This one is probably Diablo thing. I don't know what that one is. I think that's like the area or whatever his name is. And then this one is because I own Overwatch. I don't know if it tells you. So we're going to go ahead. I think these are kind of cool. Let's do those wings. We also have little pets. Right now I only have two. Um, they don't do anything. They gather coins for you so that's kind of good we're gonna have that little guy so he can gather point coins then we have just your basic your overwatch and then the cool looking one <laughs> and then of course you can put a flag on your back but I don't usually do that the wings are pretty big as is so let's go ahead and talk to this guy and uh, Captain Rumford I have come to aid these lands where is the fallen star it fell on the old cathedral there was only one survivor Leah you should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We there we go, more dead. We so if back. we kind of pull back here, we can use our our main ability to just wreck these guys. They keep coming. Okay, oh, and there's a, there's a bubble right there. Pride in this. So she's going to get her next ability, which is Bone Spear. And as you see, this is actually using up our essence. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that regens all by itself. Let's check. So we're at 120. As we come in here and we go talk to people. Burn those corpses before they rise again. Oh, man. So in here we have our uh, healer dude. He'll heal us up. I don't know if that... Does that heal like this? No, it does not. We have a merchant, uh, we have a couple no names, we have our book of Cain. Now this is kind of like your identifying book uh, for unknown things. Then in here is our stash and as you can see this is shared between all our characters. So we're not going to be, we're going to get everything ourselves. We're not going to be cheaty and just grab the best thing here because we want to have a challenge. Uh, down here we have our armor smith, our artisan. We can also do them ourselves for uh, forge armory. We can uh, do our armor, forge our armor. Down here we can forge weapons. Uh, let's see what else we got around here. Over on this side we have this guy. They have a PvP area but every time I've gone here it's completely empty. This is where you could actually run into other players and play a little bit, kill them. It doesn't hurt your armor, doesn't do anything bad to you. It just Afraid kind of, of a fun damaging thing. your armor or weapons? Uh, that won't happen. Okay? Yeah, and that's why he's now saying. So, let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, we have our new bone spear. So, we'll accept that. 
We already used it. Uh, he had one more thing to tell us. Brawling. Some heroes are fighting each other. And an We're going to kind of ignore him. Then we have the mayor. He's blocking our way back there. So we can go in any time you see these doorways with uh, sparkles. means you can usually go inside them. They take you into a dungeon level or something like that. So this is Leia. This is the person. Talk to Leia in the slaughtered captain. And we're in the slaughtered captain. So let's are talk to her. Leia? Did you survive Leia? the fallen star? I did. But it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him. But the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but the Watch out! The wounded are turning! They're turning! He looked out. Epic. See how our little guy? That's all he'll gather, too, is just uh, coins. He won't gather items that fall. So, there we go. We're actually gonna go... Oh, talk to Leia the once dead more. will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. Yes. That is why I am here. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the I gate. Think that went up. He can tell you what to do. Okay, so we're gonna go into Leia's room real quick because there's a book in here. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith, but if help doesn't arrive soon. Uh, right here is another merchant you can go to, Welcome so you can sell Stalker with merchants. Caffeine. Uh, you Bring can also me buy stuff. Treasures you have no use for. I'll give you a bit of coin. To get me a bit of coin. Uh, there's another book here that I forgot to grab. Hello? Hello? Why am I not clicking? Whoa. That was weird. The game thought I was over there, apparently. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral, and their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate new them. Tristram. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. This right here is your waypoints. Uh, it'll teleport you, warp pad kind of thing. This is a banner. You can customize it if you want. Let's go ahead and just talk to this guy a couple times and get his. Nothing ever access seems only to ones. change in New Tristram, does it? New Tristram. Why do you say that? There's always some threat of the risen dead or foul evil descending on the town, isn't there? All right. So, and then you'll notice that now we can go into Kane's house, and all we want in here is a little bit more lore. We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety, but I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. All right. I will guy. bring peace to the Risen Dead. I admire your courage, but... Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. I have experience in these matters. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. Vomiting. They're attacking the barricades! There. That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. <laughs> now, as you can see, these are white. The text on it is white and everything. Uh, that means it's just regular. I'm not going to gather Kane anything unless it's spent many color. years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed risen dead. All right. Didn't drop much there. <laughs> nice. So now as you're walking through areas, so we have some more. I will never forget the first decade. time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. 
However, the risen dead were only the beginning. My insight grows. There we go. So, uh, also the other thing is, if you destroy lots of enemies at once, uh, you get bonuses. Uh, you also get bonuses. What is that? That's even gray. That's even worse. Oops. <laughs> You'll find people and things that you can mouse over and see, like him you can uh, click on, and he might have something on him. It's not very common that they do, but um, you can find things like that all the time. So, as you can see here, we have the map. If we hit M, we can see the basic map. Uh, if we hit the plus to zoom in, we can actually see kind of the active map where we are and a little bit er a bigger area and where our goal is. Oh, we better get out. Let's just end her real quick. But you can also see it here. So anytime you see this, there's like a little uh, dungeon. The dungeons, if they're a very big one, they actually change up all the time. And what I was saying about destructibles, so if you break things a lot that are destructible, such as these pumpkins and stuff, we get seven items crushed and this gave us a 30 second speed bonus. So it's a good idea, break things as you can. Decay and rot. Better get some more of our essence or whatever it's called uh, growing up so you kind of want to alternate between those two uh, as time goes on you'll get better ones uh, you'll get to miss sometimes they're, they're not the most trustworthy thing so as you can see, we got a new skill unlock. So if we click the plus here, we can see that we have a new thing under this. And basically we have this Grim Scythe. I don't really like this one that much. Uh, it still generates our stuff, but I have to get in really close. And I have to jump a lot. I think it generates more though. That's 12 per enemy hit. Uh, can I hit S? Yes, S for skill. Uh, so that's 12 essence per enemy hit. This was 24 essence. So I mean, this is this is still better. And once we get some of our other stuff, it'll actually be a lot better. We also now have corpse explosion. So what we can do with this is using the number one key, we can target a body like that and hit number one, and it causes them to explode and hurt our enemies. So here's another little dungeon. We're gonna hold off on that. I think we could break that well a little bit, but maybe not. Player health bar is disabled. That means... All right, so here's our first thing we can gather. We have cloth pants. And as you can see, it's flashing because we have something. We're gonna put those bad boys on. Uh, we don't want to go here yet because that's actually where we're supposed to go. We want to clear out the map. Now, one really cool thing uh, from what I've seen is... Right there still. Um, where was I? There's a guy here. Um, one really cool thing is if you visit old areas that you've been in, uh, they do respawn the mobs and they kind of scale their difficulty and how much damage and all that that they do based off of here's a is this that first one we came to I think so so we're gonna go down there uh, but yeah they scale their difficulty based off of your level and stuff so if I come back here as a much higher level then uh, the mobs that I'll be attacking will be a much lower level As long as I target these guys, I don't have to run up to them with my, with my thing. In other words, uh, she'll just do it. 
We should bring this guy up here and try corpse explosion. Come on, homie. Come on. It's getting close. Right here. Come on. I think he knows something's up. I wonder if we could reach him from here. A little bit. <laughs> Okay, this one's gonna come. Ready? Oh, baby! <laughs> so these are these are crafting reagents, things you use for crafting. Um, and I think that's it. So if we kind of look at our little mini map, everything is now visible down in this area. I don't look like there's anything first together there. Some junk. Some basura. So we're gonna go ahead into this uh, little area. Now, uh, the bigger dungeons actually are randomized. So like when I go into the cathedral, the layout that I'm gonna go in is randomized. Ah, an interesting oh, opponent. Yeah, guys. Oh, that hurt me. One, 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 one! Help, I'm trapped! <laughs> Alright, well that's the first time I've died. Re revive at course, revive at last checkpoint. Um, do we dare revive at our corpse? I mean, look at everybody. I don't know how much health I get when I revive. But holy cow, he's a, he's a boss kind of guy. And uh, these guys are just kind of a pain. Let's go to the last checkpoint, which I think is right here, outside the gate. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and then we'll just maybe run in there. We'll try and pop our corpse explosion and do this to those guys on the floor. Because they did tra they trapped us a lot. No, run! No, run! <laughs> Cute. Dude, does it just make him more of them? <laughs> You've been killed. Well, when you die, you're given a choice of where to revive. After level 10, your armor and items will take damage with each death. So we're going to have to be pretty careful. These guys are tough. I must wait longer. We have to wait. Does it tell you how much longer? No. Lose it all and you're dead. That's great. Oh, there it is. It's right there. And action. All right, let's go back in. Dude, they're not dying. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> that guy's tough. Holy cow. And it wouldn't be so tough if it wasn't close quarters. If we actually had some area that we could fight in and run around and, you know, dodge him. But the fact that we're just against the wall does not help at all. And I think, I, I don't know if he's making those. Is he spawning those things? Oh, boy. All right, we're going to go down. We're going to pop our, our um, corpse explosion, hopefully kill some things, and jump back out. See, look at that. They're all at the gate. <laughs> we can't get them. And he probably doesn't have he probably doesn't have anything super good on him either, which is kind of lame. Uh, uh, twenty cents costs twenty cents, but it does good damage. Let's go ahead and use that one again. Go 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 go! go, go. <laughs> All right, we have some more corpses down there, but we weren't killing them. I don't know if there's like a a bad spot there or something? I think we killed a couple. Oh man. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back down. We're gonna try corpse explosion. Go in. Corpse explosion. No corpses. No corpses. I wonder, it could be a huge mistake to run past him 
because there is a it's like a long haul and then there's a big area if I could get them in that big area I might be able to at least dodge a little bit let's I just want to make sure I want to have a, a help all queued up and ready to go Wow, this is much, much harder on hard. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be the plan. We're going to try and run past him, hopefully. Not die, but run past him into the bigger area where at least we can kind of dodge him a little bit. So, ready? Let's go. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, he is fast. He is spawning him. No, or they're teleporting or something. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> got one. Oh, got a couple actually. Oh, I almost got a match. Oh, oh, run away. Dude, he teleports. Here, come over here. Nope, run, 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 run. Okay, we got him. Okay. We actually can stand a chance now. Ooh, there. Oh, we almost got him, I think. Come around here. Nope. One. Got him. Run, 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 run. I'm okay with the challenge. I need essence. Oh crud, we need essence. <laughs> it's definitely more of a challenge. Let's get some more essence right there. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> more essence. Run. There we go. The victory is ours. I wasn't sure how we were going to do that for a little bit. We just got a bonus. Nephilim glory. You move faster. Well, I probably should grab this. All right, let's grab the clothes. There we go. Nice. It was hard, but nice. All right, so we had one more up here. right up over here in fact maybe before we go down into this other one oh, there's another body over there but we can't get that one before we go down here I think I'm gonna call it because we're at just under 30 minutes I want to try and keep these episodes like I do most of my other ones my my goal is 15 to 20 minutes but a lot a lot of times they go a lot longer so we're going to go ahead and call it here. I'm going to continue playing. I'm going to do a back-to-back -back in this case. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this Diablo 3 uh, with the Necromancer. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Helps me tremendously on YouTube. So from that, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord. Information is in the video description. He's gone mad. Executing anyone his paranoid eye falls on. None of us it. are safe. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, check out my Discord and stuff. Twitter, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what I said. But uh, until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.